Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a twist on a classic springtime dessert called key lime pie. But instead, we're going to make little key lime pie cups. I love this idea because they're so elegant to serve and so delicious. They're also so easy to put together. I love to serve them in these little baking cups and spoons because they come from this company that I've always admired called Simply Baked. It's run by two fabulous women that are so creative and I love to support small businesses anytime I see them doing something clever around food. And also, they're offering a discount to all Entertaining with Beth subscribers. So all you have to do to get the discount is enter the coupon code Beth at checkout and the discount will be yours. All right, you guys, let me show you how to make some adorable little key lime pie cups. So the first thing we're going to do is take out seven graham crackers and put them in a Ziploc bag. We're going to seal the bag and then we're just going to take a rolling pin and give them a good whack. This is the easiest way to create a graham cracker crust without having to drag out the food processor. Then we can go ahead and set our crumbs aside and then we're going to get to work on making the filling. So in a large bowl we're going to add six egg yolks. Now it really helps when you're trying to separate eggs to make sure that those eggs are nice and cold because that is going to make sure that that yolk stays nice and firm and that's the easiest way to separate an egg. Then to that we're going to add a third of a cup of cornstarch, or you may also know this as corn flour in some parts of the world, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and just whisk that up until you get a nice pale yellow paste on your hands. Then you can set that aside. Then in a large saucepan, we're going to add one and a half cups of water and three quarters cup of sugar plus one tablespoon. I know that's a strange measurement, but I've tried it once with just three quarters cup and it wasn't sweet enough and I tried it once with a cup and it was too sweet. So I think the perfect combo is really three quarters cup plus one tablespoon. And you're just gonna heat your water until that sugar dissolves. You'll see your water will become transparent. And at that point, you're gonna take the water and you're going to slowly pour it into your egg mixture in a slow, steady stream, whisking all the while. So what we wanna do is we wanna temper those eggs so we don't wanna dump it in all at once. And we wanna create a nice thinned out mixture. Then we can take our egg mixture and put it back into the pan. And then we're gonna heat it on medium until that egg mixture starts to cook and thicken. So this is something you don't want to walk away from. You really have to stand right there with your whisk, stirring and whisking while this mixture cooks. Once you get to that pudding-like consistency, you want to turn off the flame, and then you also want to take your pot and move it off that hot burner because this pudding can cook very quickly. And what will happen if you leave it on the burner, it'll continue to cook because that burner is hot. So you really want to remove it from the hot burner. And then you're going to add two tablespoons of butter. Whisk that up until it's nice and silky smooth. And then you're also going to add two-thirds cup of lime juice. Now at this stage, you could use traditional key limes. Key limes are those small little limes. They also call them Mexican limes. I actually have them growing in my garden, but I have found <laughs> that trying to get two-thirds cup of lime juice out of a little lime that's the size of a walnut takes forever. So I actually say use a real full-size lime. The taste is pretty much the same and it'll be a lot easier. No one needs to know you didn't use a real key lime. So you're going to add your juice. And then you're just going to whisk that up and you'll start to see the pudding will thin out a little bit and that's okay. It will actually thicken once you put it in the refrigerator to refrigerate. But what you want to do at this stage, and this is critical, you want to remove it from your pan and transfer it to a bowl because that pan is hot and this pudding will just continue to cook and thicken. And if that happens, the easiest way to thin it out is either with some more butter or a little bit more lime juice. Then you also want to take some plastic wrap and just push it down into the lime curd so that a skin does not form and then just fasten it around the edges and that'll keep it nice and airtight. And then you want to go ahead and pop it in the fridge. Now we're going to make our whipped cream topping. So in the bowl of an electric mixer, we're going to add two cups of heavy cream, two tablespoons of powdered sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Go ahead and just whip that up until stiff peaks form and that's all you have to do. Now you do want to take it to stiff peaks because we are going to be piping this whipped cream and it's a lot easier to pipe if the cream is stiff. So don't just settle for soft peaks. You want to take it all the way to stiff peaks. Then all you have to do is take your whipped cream, transfer it to a pastry bag, fit it with your favorite tip. I like this tip because to me it reminds me of the piping closely associated with key lime pie, so it feels a little bit traditional, but really you could use any tip you like. So all of this can be done the day before, which is why I really like this dessert. You've done all your heavy lifting and it's all out of the way, and then all you have to do the day of the party or moments before serving dessert is assemble. 
So we are gonna take out our little Simply Baked cups. Now I'll also say, if you don't have time to get the Simply Baked cups, you could just serve this in a little glass. Any little tumbler or fancy cocktail glass would also work. So we're gonna take two tablespoons of the graham cracker crust and put it in the bottom of each cup. Then we're gonna take out an ice cream scoop and take one scoop of the lime curd and put it in the cup. And then we're gonna to top each cup with our beautiful homemade whipped cream. Just creating a nice little mound. Then to garnish, we're gonna to top each one with a little bit of fresh lime zest. And then the finishing touch is just to place a little lime wheel on top of every cup. And then I like to transfer these cups to a cake stand. And then to make serving even easier, we are gonna take these adorable little wooden spoons and place them inside of every cup. I love the combination of that robin's egg blue mixed with that lime green. It's so festive and spring-like and makes this dessert so much fun to eat. You've got that delicious graham cracker crust mixed with the coolness of that lime curd and the sweetness of the whipped cream. It is springtime in every little bite. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And I also hope that you take advantage of the discount from Simply Baked. You can hook yourself up with these cute little cups and spoons that will really just help make your party all the more festive. All right, you guys, I will see you back here next week for another delicious recipe. Until then, bye.